Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to use Django to create a contact form which you will send to an email. So in this video we will build something like this, where you have a title and then the name Stein and then your email address and then you can fill out the content of the email form, blah blah blah. And when I hit submit now, this will send in and use SMT back end. And then if I go to mail trap, you can test and we can see how it works here. So then I can see here the contact form subject, you will have the title and then the information there. This information comes from the template we are going to create in this tutorial. Okay, so I have created an empty Django project. Then to make it possible to send email using a contact form, I'm going to create a new app. So I go to the command line and create it there. Python manage.py start app and then the name which can just be contact and then I have it here in the list. Let's also add this to settings.py in the install apps list contact and save. So now Django knows that this exists and that I want to use it. And then in here I can begin by creating a simple view for rendering a contact form. Def index or contact you can call it whatever you want and then return a render request and then the template which is contact slash index.html and I don't need to pass in anything more here. And then if I go to urls.py just to register this view, I need to import it here from contact.views import index and I want this to be on the front page so the path can be empty. Index name is also index and save. So if I now try to run this and see it in the browser, I will probably get an error because the template doesn't exist. Go to run server. Okay, it's already in use, so I need to assign a different IP. Like that. So now I can open this in the browser. So here I can see I get the template does not exist error. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code and create a template folder. Templates and then the contact folder in there and index.html. Great, so I can just add simple tags here body, h1, contact, save, refresh. I think I need to stop and start the web server again. Refresh, and now I have the contact title there. Great. So now that I have that, I want the form to be rendered here. So let's go and create a new file for this forms.py and then from Django import forms and then I can create a new form by saying class contact form and pass in form dot, dot form and then add colon here and then I can add the fields I want. I want one for the name equals forms.char field max length can be set to 255 I want one field for email so I know who to send or who sent this. So forms.email field and then the message content. Content equals models.text field. Sorry, forms.text field. Like that. So then I can save this and then I can import this form into views.py. From dot, dot forms import contact form and then I can add it here form equals contact form and I can pass it in here so I can use it in the template form form and save before I continue I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons if you too want to support me you will find a link in the description below so if I now go back into index.html I can render it here by first adding the template tag form method should be set to post and action can be the same page as I'm on and then I need to add a CSRF token since this is a post request and then just form dot s paragraph and then below here I want a button for submitting submit so if I now go back to Chrome and refresh there is no form showing here Okay, 
the Django Force doesn't have attribute called text field. So to figure out what's wrong, I copy this error message, go to Google and just go to the first one I find. And then I probably just need to use the char field. But I can set widget to forms.text area. So go back to forms here, char field, and then I pass in widget equals forms.text area. Now the error is gone. I can go back, refresh, and now the form is showing here. Nice. If I try to submit this, nothing will happen besides the built in, uh, built in validation in the browser. Submit, and then nothing happens because I need to go back to views.py to handle this. Then here I can say if request.method equals post, then I know that the form has been submitted. And we can create a new instance of this and pass in request.post. If the form is valid, then I want to send the email. So form.isValid print the form was valid. And if it's not a post request, I can just create a new empty instance of the form like this and save. So I can now refresh again, submit. And if I go here now, you'll see the form was valid. The reason why this is uh, two times this is because I refreshed and have not been redirected. So here I always want to redirect the user back to the contact form page. Return redirect index. And then I need to import this shortcut from Django redirect and save. So now you will be redirected back here if you have submitted this successfully. Submit and you send back here. So then the next step now is to make it possible to send the email. First I want to test this in the console here. So we can begin by saying googling this Django test email command line. So I just think we can set a simple backend for Django to test this. Yes, I can just set this as the back end. No, sorry. Here we have it. The console back end. If I copy this line and go to settings.py, just paste it at the top there and save. Then when we send an email, it will just appear here in the console so we can see that everything there is working. So let me go back to the code again to views.py where we want to trigger this. And to trigger this we need to import a few things from Django. From django.core.mail import send mail. This is the function I want to use to send the emails. And then below here I can say send mail. And then first we pass in the subject as you can see here. The contact form subject and then the message. This is the message and who are going to send this. And this should be your email address, for example, no reply at codewithstein.com. So I can just say no reply at codewithstein.com. And then I want to say specify who I'm going to send it to. As you can see here, recipient list and then I can say email because this I want to get from sorry this is your email because you want to receive this contact form so for example code with stein oops, stein at gmail.com I want to receive these emails and then we can just save I don't think I need to fill out anything more here so let's try this now if I go back here now, just refresh, fill out this, submit, no errors there. And then you can see here that this email was sent. You can see the content type and similar. You see the subject, 
who it was sent from, who it was going to, the message ID, and then the content itself. So then I think that the next step is to make it possible to use HTML to send these emails. So I want to create a template that we're going to take all the information from the form and send it to the owner of the contact form. First we can just get the things or values from the form. So request.post.get Sorry, maybe I can just say print form.email Not sure if that will work, so I have to test it. Submit. No. Contact form has no attribute email. Uh, okay, Google Django forms get value, get field value. Then just go to the first one, which is almost always correct. Yes, you have to say form.cleaned data, and then the field we are going to use. So here you can say form.clean data email. And this Django function here will clean this so you don't get any malicious code or similar from the contact form. So refresh contact form has no attribute cleaned data. Okay, sorry if I try to just move it in here. Yes, then that was working. So you can see here now I printed the email there. So then I want to say email equals form.cleaned data. It's because we haven't, uh, it hasn't gone through the validation, therefore this wasn't working. And then name form.cleaned data, name, and the same with the content form.cleaned content, content, cleaned data, sorry. We can remove that comment. And then here we can do some changes. First, I can create the template I want to use. So if I just open up the browser here again, and then inside the contact folder there, I can create one say emails, and then contact form.html, blah, blah, blah. Just save it like that. And then here I want to get this template as a string. To do that I say HTML equals render to string, which is a function from Django. Contact slash emails, which is this and this folder, slash contact form.html. And then here at the end I can specify data just like we do down here with the render function. So here I can say name, name, email email, content, content, and save. So I get an error here now because render to string isn't defined yet. So you need to import this from Django, from Django.template.loader, import render to string, and save. So let's try this now very soon. So I have to specify this down here. So at the end, after we specify the recipients, we can say HTML message equals HTML. And then this points now to this. So let's just refresh, try to send this in. No errors. And then you can see here now that we got some more here. This is the HTML from the template file we just created. Let's move, uh, do some changes here. We can say, uh, for example, h2 contact form submission b, sorry, add a paragraph first, and then b name, name, close the paragraph, then just make a copy of this for the email email and then we also want the message you can have a break line in there and content so if we try to submit this one more time now submit then you see here that you got this html for the title and then the information about the user who submitted this 
Great. So now we have actually made it possible to send emails. Or actually, we don't send it, we just show them there. But to now send these emails, we just need to change this email backend. To test this, I want to use a service called MailTrap. So MailTrap, just Google this, MailTrap.io. This is an email sandbox service, and when I send emails to this SMTP, you will get the preview and see what this looks like. So I can sign up for free. And sign up with my email, code with stein at gmail.com, and then a password. I am not a robot, as far as I know. Sign up. Thank you for signing up, and I just need to verify this. Okay, so now your email has been successfully confirmed, so now I can log in, code with stein at gmail.com, and then the password I created, remember me. And this is a free service for testing, so you can also sign up for free to do some testing. And then here you can see that I need to set up my inbox. The uh, implementation I want to use is Django. So then I can just copy these four lines. Go back here and replace and save like that. So if I now save this, we can try the contact form again. Name, code, hello at do.com, blah, 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 some text, and then submit. And then you can see it's loading, and it now should be sent in the back end. And now you can see here that my inbox was updated. The title and then information about the user. Nice. So if you wanted to use a different service, you can try to check out MailJet, which is an awesome, also free service you can use for, I think, 200 emails per day. And there are also Gmail and similar you can use. And that was it for this video. If you liked it and want more content like this, please hit like below. And also remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. See you in the next video.